Hello and welcome to Foxtech. In today's video, we're going to discuss how to disable private browsing mode in Safari on your iPhone, often referred to as incognito mode. Private browsing can be useful for some situations, but there are times when you might want to disable it entirely. This means not just closing it, but ensuring that it's not even possible to access. Let's walk through the steps to achieve this. First, let's start by opening the settings app on your iPhone. From there, scroll down and tap on, on screen time. If you haven't set up screen time before, you'll need to do so now. Screen time is a powerful tool that allows you to manage and restrict various aspects of your iPhone usage. Once screen time is set up, tap on content and privacy restrictions and make sure it's enabled. In this section, you'll find all the controls you need to restrict content on your device. Tap on content restrictions, then navigate to web content. Here, you'll have a few options to choose from. To disable private browsing, select Limit Adult Websites. This setting not only restricts access to adult content, but also disables the ability to use private browsing mode in Safari. With this restriction in place, users will no longer be able to switch to private browsing mode. If you ever want to re-enable private browsing, you can simply return to the same settings and select Unrestricted Access under Web Content. This will lift the restrictions and allow the use of private browsing mode again. For those who want an even stricter approach, you can disable Safari entirely. To do this, go back to the content and privacy restrictions menu and tap on allowed apps. Here, you can toggle off Safari. This will completely remove Safari from your home screen, ensuring that no one can access it at all. Normally, switching between normal and private browsing modes in Safari is done by tapping the tabs button at the bottom of the screen and selecting private. When private browsing is enabled, the background of the URL bar turns black. With the steps we've gone through, this option will no longer be available, effectively disabling private browsing mode. By following these steps, you can control and restrict the use of private browsing mode on your iPhone, ensuring that browsing is done in the standard mode. Thank you for watching this tutorial on how to disable private browsing mode in Safari on your iPhone. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to Fox Tech C for more tech tips and tutorials. Until next time, peace.